Welcome back for another bedtime story video. It is summertime and for many people, summertime means camping trips. Not for me, but maybe it does for you. And it definitely does for our main character of today's story, Mr. McGee. So let's get started and see what adventures Mr. McGee gets up to. This book is called A Camping Spree with Mr. McGee by Chris Van Dusen. And before I get started with the book, I just want to point out, um, they are going to talk in the story about something called a hitch. This little ball down here that this arrow is pointing to is the hitch. It connects the trailer or the camper or a boat sometimes to the car or truck that is pulling it. And so when you hear that, you'll know that that's what that is talking about. Early one morning at 7.03, Mr. McGee and his little dog, D packed up the camper and hitched up the load, hopped in the rambler, and then hit the road. They drove to the mountains far from the sea for two nights of camping, or possibly three. There's nothing like camping, said Mr. McGee. I know you will love it. Just you wait and see. The views are fantastic. There's hardly a sound. Aside from the wildlife, there's no one around. The air is so sweet, you'll sleep like a log, said Mr. McGee to his small spotted dog. A few hours later, they took a sharp right and found a great spot to lay camp for the night. It was high on a hill with a beautiful view of Mount Adams, Mount Lincoln, and Jefferson, too. But perhaps the most wonderful feature of all was the brook that ran over a steep waterfall. D gathered pine cones and branches and logs. McGee made a campfire and cooked some hot dogs. And as the sun set behind far distant knolls, they sat roasting marshmallows over the coals. At, as the embers went out, they felt tired and dozy. So they climbed in their bunk beds, all comfy and cozy. But while they were falling asleep without care, along came a stumbling, bumbling bear. A kindly old bear whose sight wasn't so clear. He couldn't see far and he couldn't see near. But he could smell marshmallows, sticky and sweet. This smell made him hungry. He wanted a treat. He sniffed out the place where the marshmallows lay. But the car and the camper were in the bear's way. Yet that didn't stop the sneaky old snitch. He simply tried squeezing right under the hitch. And as he was shimmying into the gap, he pushed up the hitch, which let go with a snap. Now the camper and car were untied. They started to roll down the, the rocky hillside. The car bounced away on the old logging road while the camper was heading to where the stream flowed. It flew down the hill in a wild, bumpy ride with Dee and McGee sleeping soundly inside. It, they were snoring and snoozing, enjoying a dream, when splash went the camper right into the stream. The splash shook the camper. They bumped out of bed. Now what in the world was that? McGee said. And when he looked out and saw where they were, his hair stood on end, and so did Dee's fur. They were caught in the rapids, but that wasn't all. They were headed smack dab for a big waterfall. Dee and McGee both started to quiver as faster and faster they headed down river, but just when they thought they'd fall over the edge. Their camper got stuck on a rock at the ledge, so they were there stranded, McGee and his pup, on the top of a waterfall 50 feet up. Meanwhile, that nearsighted bear from before was searching for one little marshmallow more, when lo and behold, as if out of a dream, he spied something sweet floating over the stream. But what the bear thought was a marshmallow treat was really the hitch and not something to eat. The bear was determined to capture his prize, so he jumped in the water right up to his thighs. He splashed through the stream to the edge of the fall and snatched up the trailer hitch, camper and all. Dee felt a tug. McGee heard a knock as the bear pulled the camper right off of the rock. He dragged them both all the way back to the bank when he realized the hitch was not sweet, but quite rank. He spit out the hitch and left in dismay while McGee and Dee's camper 
again rolled away. It flew down the path with a jolt and a jar and stopped in some bushes right next to the car. Dee popped, out, popped her head out. McGee looked out too. Had they really stopped rolling? Could it be true? At last things were quiet and peaceful and still. They hooked up the hitch and drove down the hill. And on the way home, McGee said to Dee, that trip wasn't quite like I thought it would be. So when they got home with the sky turning red, they decided to camp in the backyard instead. I think that's a great idea. That's where I would want to camp. And I would definitely want the marshmallows, probably with a little chocolate and graham cracker in some s'mores. Those are my favorite. All right. I hope you enjoyed this bedtime story. I will record some more for you guys. And, um, let me know if there's anything special you would like to hear.